Hello students. Hello, Hello sir. sir. Today we have gathered here to discuss about photovoltaic cell or solar cell. Have you heard this term anywhere before? Sir, I think I heard this term on science channel on TV. It's kind of new technology. Okay. What is it about? Sir, I think it is about converting solar energy into electrical energy. Okay. What do you think, Pinky? Sir, I don't know about it. Okay, don't worry. I'm going to tell you about this. First, you tell me what do you understand by solar energy? Sir, energy we get from sun is solar energy. Correct. Now, can anyone of you define photons? Sir, I know. Photons are fundamental unit of light. We can also define them as quantum of electromagnetic radiation. Correct. And the sun rays are composed by photons of different energies. Now, look at this model. Have you seen it before? Sir, I have seen such things on the rooftops of some buildings. And sir, I have seen them in farms. So something related to sun. Good. It is related to sun. It is a device which converts solar energy into the electrical energy and is called solar cell. Okay. Now, we will talk about conversion of solar energy into the electrical energy. The topic of our discussion is solar cell and this model is of solar cell. Solar cell is basically a PN junction device and I hope you already know about PN junction diode. Yes, yes sir, we know. we know. Good enough. Before we go to the mechanics of solar cell, let's do recap of PN junction. Okay, okay sir. sir. Students, let us talk about the formation of PN junction. Look at the computer screen. Let's take a silicon substrate in which every silicon atom makes four covalent bond with other silicon atom. Boron atoms are dubbed on one side of silicon substrate and phosphorus atom on the other side by the diffusion process. See, some silicon atoms are replaced by boron and phosphorus atoms in different part of the silicon substrate. You can also see it on the computer screen, you know phosphorus atom have extra free electron and boron atom have vacancy of electron which is called? Sir, it is hole. Very good Pinky. These free electrons move randomly and recombine with the hole and make covalent bond as you can see on the screen. Due to this, phosphorus atom become positive ions and boron's atom become negative ions. These ions are immobile. So, an electric field is set up in the region. If this electric field is not enough, then some more free electrons move to the another hole and recombine with the holes. Due to this, the number of immobile ions will increase. Consequently, the electric field is also increased. If this electric field is sufficient to stop the movement of electron. Now, our PN junction will look like this in which our left side of the PN junction is called the P region. Very good. And the right side of the PN junction is called Sir, N region. Very good. And the middle region where immobile ions are present is called junction region. Very good. This junction region is also called depletion region. Can you tell me the direction of electric field in the junction region? Uh, sir, it should be from positive ions to negative ions, that is from N to P region. Good. This electric field in the depletion region play an important role in the working of solar cell. As I before said that solar cell is a PN junction. In PN junction, both P and N region have same dimension. But in solar cell, N region is very thin with respect to P region. You can see it in the picture that N region have dimension 0.3 micrometer and P region have dimension 300 micrometer which is a big difference. Sir, why do we have a thin N region? Just wait, you will get to know it by yourself. Okay, let us look at the computer screen. When the photon of sunlight having energy greater than band gap energy fall on the N region of cell, energy of photon are transferred to the electron of silicon atoms. 
which results in breaking up of covalent bonds. Breaking up of bonds result in generation of electron and hole pair, as we have already discussed in the construction of solar cell, that we take a thin layer of n-type semiconductor. The reason for this is that the electron and hole pair are generated close to the junction. Due to this, the electric field acts on electron hole pair. If this region is wide, then electron and hole pair generated far from the junction. So, electric field does not act on the electron hole pair. Student, this is the answer to your question. Is it clear now? Yes, sir. Now I got it. Now, the inbuilt electric field plays its role. Can you explain it now? Yes, sir. The force on the electron is in the direction opposite to the electric field and the force on the hole is in the direction of the electric field. And therefore, the electric field at the junction pushes the electron away from the junction and the hole towards the P region. Yes, and this step is known as separation of charge. Now, we connect a load to the PN junction, as you can see on the computer screen. Electron will flow from N region to P region via bulb due to effect of inbuilt electric field and a current will flow causing the LED to glow. Now, electron in P region recombine with the hole and make a covalent bond. This process goes on continuously and convert solar energy into the electrical energy. I hope you all have now understood construction and working of solar cell. Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. Student, not only solar cell are used in farm and on roof to produce electricity. You will be surprised to know that array of solar cell are used to supply power to satellite and other spacecraft. Wow! Amazing, no? Yes. Then we, we must be saving a lot of non-renewable energy. Absolutely. Now, can you say something about the variation of current with the intensity of light? Sir, it's evident that the current should increase with increase in intensity of light. Very good. And that's why the solar cell is designed in such a way that a large area is exposed to light. Now, students, the solar cell is a PN junction device, so it has IV characteristics, the graph of which is shown on the screen. Okay, Ruchi, tell me what is the meaning of VOC and ISC in the graph? Sir, VOC means open circuit voltage and ISC means short circuit current. Very good. Sir, I was wondering that can only sunlight be used on a solar cell or any light can be used? Good question. For explaining this, let's have a look on the model again. As we know, this is a solar panel and a LEDs are connected with the solar panel. Here, I use only a torch, which is not sunlight. Okay. When I turn on the switch of battery, then you can see that LED will glow. This is because any light having photons of energy greater than the band gap energy of solar cell materials can be used and materials used for making solar cell should have band gap of 1 electron volt to 1.5 electron volt approximately. Nowadays solar cell are being prepared to meet electricity need. Look at the screen. We have many applications of solar cell like street light, solar calculator, even to run automobiles. So student, in this session we learn about formation of PN junction and conversion of solar energy into the electrical energy. I hope you all have understood concept of solar cell. Yes sir, now we know what solar cells are. Very good. At this note, 
let's conclude our today session thank, thank you, you sir, sir.